Hello? Hey, honey! Oh my god, it's so good to hear your voice again. It's me, Casey. How are you? Hey, Case. I'm good. You oh, sound I like you've done you good. Call me that. Yeah, I'm so happy because I got to talk to you. I missed you all day today. It sucked being in school. I can't believe it's almost finals. Oh, yeah, I know. Summer finals, right? I know. I don't know why I did summer session. It's just, I don't know. You know that I'm really, really into intelligent guys, which is why I love you. And I've, you know, got to do the same. So, uh, how's it yeah. for you? Oh, things have been great for me. You know, I just finished the dating episode. It is fantastic. Oh, well, that's cool. But what does that have to do with school? Uh, you know, in the comics. I just... So I feel like oh, up, oh so I, I get what you're saying. Oh, that is uh, so cool. The dating well, education episode. It's on the Wikipedia. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to have to check it out because, you know, that is, of course, what led me to you in the first place. But oh, um, yes. what about actual school? Because I know you had classes today, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were, they were tough on me. But I feel like I take a break, finish up my comic work, and get that out of the way, you know? Oh, I get what you're saying. You're going to do everything tomorrow. Well, that that's so cool of you. I mean, at least yeah. you're being serious about it, but you're not being too serious. So um, when yeah. are your finals? Are they next week, too? Mm, yeah, I only, got, I only got one to go, you know? One more test to go, and then I'm done. Oh, God, you're so lucky, because my finals, like, they don't even start till next week. So which one's your last one again? I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that question? I didn't quite understand it. Sorry. You know I talk fast because I'm so excited to be talking to you. Um, it's all so, right. <laughs> so which one's your last final? I totally forgot. Which one's my last uh, final? My last final? Yeah, is mm. it the same one that, you know, the same class we have together? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not that one. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name. I'm trying to think of it. Um, oh, yeah. It's the one where I'm doing, uh, it's, it's the one where uh, I'm working with, uh, I think it's, I think I'm working in Photoshop, something like that, with the, uh, so much going on in my oh, head right oh, now. Oh, it's your, it's your database in uh, computer graphics class. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my computer graphics class. Oh, okay. Yeah, God, and I've seen some of your work since you sent it to me, and let me just tell you, you are so freaking amazing. Like, I cannot wait to see you this weekend. Ah, uh, yeah, you know my address, right? You got a MapQuest to come all the way over? Oh, my God, I've got a GPS system. You know that, sweetie. I've oh, already got it plugged you did. in. You told, that's, that's right, you told me about the GPS. I told you I know, I got it for my birthday this year, remember? So, um, oh. yeah, I've already got it plugged in, and it's going to be so much fun. So, do you remember our last time together, you know, our uh, our third date? Ah, <laughs> uh, date number three. Mm. Oh, I've been so busy with uh, with studying for the finals. It's just uh, yeah, so much of the details are flaking my mind at the moment. Oh, I know, but it was so magical. I have never, ever been with someone so sensual and just so in tune to me. It was, I cannot wait to see you again. So uh, maybe you can give me a sneak preview of what you're going to do next time I see you. Please? I'm going to rock your world, baby. Oh, Chris, you are so hot. God, I don't know how you do it. So stop just, teasing. I, You've got to give just, me more. It, it just comes natural to me, I guess. <laughs> I got I got a deep sensual voice, you know. I definitely got the Bing Crosby tune, baby. You know I've been raised on music. My dad was a technical engineer. Got all them patents and everything. <gasps> oh, my God, Chris. I love it when you talk like that. <laughs> God, so, you know, when you sang Fresh Prince today, you know I love that, oh, my God, like, you know that white boy rap? Oh, my God, you were just amazing, almost as amazing as last time I saw you. Oh, uh, yeah, the boy rap, yeah. I go, I mean, you know, I'm into hip, I'm hip into so many hip and tunes right now. But, you know, I like to just, uh, you know, sometimes I like to look back at my favorite hits and just uh, listen to them, you know, uh, you know, I definitely did like Sonic Boom and Don't Say You Love Me. Too bad, too bad uh, I got beaten to the punch on those. Uh, you God, know, I, like I know. I was so hoping you would do something like that. I mean, maybe you could do like In Sync next or something. Like, I love tearing up my heart. Could you Could you do that one for me? I got bear. I, you know what? 
I got I bear I got bear stunned on playing for this one. Oh. You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. Oh, Chris, your voice just, you, well, you know what it does to me. It just gets me so hot. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, tell me how much you like when I get hot. Oh, I'm loving it. Uh, I am what, so what loving it. What are you going to do to me, Chris? I mean, last time was just so wonderful. I know you've got ideas in your head. I know you do. It'd be like the first time all over again, girl. You know how I enjoyed the first time. Oh, I know. Just the way you look. I'd like to, I'd like to... Yeah, you know, I'm going to definitely try to repeat the encore, repeat that as best as I can, you know. You know, best of my memory, even though I've been messing up on, messing up stuff for the finals and whatever. So, mm. did you remember what I told you I wanted to do next time? Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, Chris, how could you forget? Oh, you know, um, let me take a guess. Let me take a guess. Uh, you want me to caress your breasts? You want well, me yeah, to, that's uh, one of them, but I wanted to do something, you know, a little more adventurous. I mean, I can't believe you forgot, because you seem so excited. I am. I'm so excited. I can't, I just can't hide it. Uh, I guess I'll forgive you this time. But, you know, I totally, absolutely wanted you to tie me up and just let me be at your mercy. I mean, doesn't that sound awesome? Oh, yeah, that does sound fucking awesome. Okay, well, since I told you that, now you have to tell me what you're going to do to me. Because, come on, you know I love it when you talk dirty to me. Ah, talk dirty to me. Da, oh, God, da. please do. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do it for your sweet oh, yeah. little Casey case. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... You guys are just going to love this. You know, you'll be, I'll, be showing, I'll be presenting myself to you. You'll be loving my dick. It's so big and, and all that, you know. And you'll just, and it'll be, I'll be putting it between your tits while you're all tied up. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Like, yeah. I'm like crying because it sounds so wonderful. Keep telling me more. Yeah, I'm just going to I mean, I'm, I'm starting to t actually touch my tits right now. So just keep telling me more, Chris. Keep telling me more. Yeah, and I'm just going to keep banging your breasts over and over again until I give you a first dosage of my comeuppance. Oh my god, I can't wait to lick it off. It's going to be so so hot. Oh, this is the Chris I know and love. Thank you. And then, and then you know what? I'm going to lick it. I'm going to lick it off your face and then we're going to share it in our tongue like tongue sharing moment. Oh my god, you know I love shotgunning like that. God, Chris, you're even a little spicier than last time. What's gotten into you? Vanilla hot, hot, spicy, baby. And, I mean, I just can't help getting hot thinking again about all your music videos. Just, oh, my gosh, and, and you're so much better than I anymore. I've forgotten <laughs> what I started fighting for. There's just so much lipping to the shore. And I can't fight this feeling anymore. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I hate to spoil the mood, but I mean, you're just so much better than that brown shirted or that shirted imposter. I mean, it sucks. I love your brown shirts way more. Mm. Sorry, I'm getting so confused right now because I'm just so hot right now. Uh, I'm uh, so glad you. Know, yeah, but you know, I actually do have a red wine blue striped shirt in my closet. You do? Why don't you wear it then? I mean, no, I, I guess I'll make you too much like the imposter. I don't know, because, you know, just I'm trying to separate myself from the imposter, I guess. I I mean, red, white, blue, you know, was my original roots. I mean, look at back in the early pages of my books. Red, white, and blue all the way, girl. Well, I just, I, I just had to separate myself from the imposter somehow. And you know how I wrapped the Parappa contest? I wore an orange shirt then, girl. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I mean, just that imposter, I know he's really, really, really getting to you. Oh, yeah, he's been getting to me. He's been like, racking up my nerves. Just really turning me, ugh, making me so angry. 
God, I know. He pisses me off, too. I can't believe he's trying to be you when you're just so much sexier and hotter. Yeah. And, I mean, his voice yeah. doesn't even sound like yours. Yeah. I mean, can you believe him? He, I mean, he just looks so... Oh, shoot. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Oh, yeah. He looks so sophomoric. Yeah, he does, I, I guess. I mean... Yeah, I mean, the imposter looks like he's got to be about 13 or 16, does not have the diploma or the degrees or the certificate I had from being water boy on the varsity basketball team during my freshman year. Right. Um, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm just on a roll here, you know. I'm just trying to, just, I'm just trying to, I've been, I you mean, know, one, 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 fight, one fight and another, you know. Yeah, he's telling me, he, he's telling me his truths. I got some... Um, my truths, you know. I mean, he, he just he just bring me all the uh, counter evidence, and I gotta fight back with a real deal. Oh, oh, you mean when he was trying to duel you in Spanish, and he showed that fake certificate with a fake Sonichu picture? Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Cause you were confusing me for a minute there. At first, I thought that you were suggesting that you were the fat imposter, and you know, I was getting worried for a minute there. Hmm. Well, I, I well, I don't know what I mean. I don't know about this and that, but I tell you what, I am. You are definitely talking to the real deal, baby. You know, Ugh. I'm gonna rock your world. Yeah, you totally, totally are. I mean, like you said, next time we're gonna try the strap-ons, and I can't wait for that. Hmm. Let's do it after this. After this. After this one time, the first time this weekend. You know. Yeah, tying oh, it right. down. Oh, right. Just... Start out start out slow like that. And, oh, yeah, I get it. You know, do you dominant first and then me dominant. I gotcha. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh. I know you said you couldn't wait, but I, I can do it for you, Chris. Definitely for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds doable. Since p.m. <laughs> doable, just like me, right? Yo, boy, baby! Can you cook me something for dinner? Something delicious? And then maybe uh, afterwards a guitar serenade? And, you know, because your socks get me so hot to put me in the mood. Just that's all I want. I want a delicious dinner and a guitar serenade where you sing, you know, the last song you sung me just like last time. I mean, can you please repeat it for me? Can, can you at least sing a, li a little bit right now? You're pitiful. You're beautiful, it's true. No, no, not the one that you sang for the imposter. The one you sang for me on our last date. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, uh, it's easy just, to get confused. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, com I'm kind of a little bit confused myself. It's been a long day. Uh, I know, I know. I mean, you're doing so well since, you know, considering what you're majoring in and everything. Yeah, I could be a driving and design. Did you change your major? What? No, that's been my major. That's okay. been my major. It could be a driving and design. Oh, that's uh, weird. Um, you know how you told the imposter? Well, the imposter doesn't have a heart suite on his judges panel. Do you think that's because he doesn't have one? Mm, oh, yeah. That's, that's very likely, but, you know... I did uh, realize that I did apparently did take observation and notice that actually uh, one of them is a real life uh, is a real life close gal pal by the name of uh, I think Kim Wilson. Oh, he's you think he has a girlfriend named Kim Wilson? How do you know uh, that? You are so awesome. Uh, yeah, I know I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, uh, I just, uh, been hearing news talk between, uh, you know, uh, here and there in the fan, ba in the fan base and the emails, yada, yada, yada. Uh, oh, but no, they're just, they're just, they're, they're, no, they're just basically, they're just friends. They're just friends. Besides, oh, I okay. heard that, I, besides, I heard that Kim has been together with, uh, this guy, with this, uh, tough dude named, uh, Logan. And oh, they have uh -huh. two, and they have two German shepherds. Oh, I love German shepherds. But, um, ah! so, <laughs> well, you know, the imposter's never going to get anyone anyway. He's not as awesome as you, you know. I just fell for you right off the bat. I mean, he's just such a fatty, and you're thin and you're hot. 
And your Madonna mm. is so much better. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's and not the real deal. And your flowing locks, I mean, come on. What's with that haircut? Oh, come on, you know. Uh, I bet his mom probably cut his hair, and uh, that's, uh, I think it looks good on him, actually. I like his haircut. If I, I mean, you know, uh, I probably get, I probably would get my hair cut uh, that way, uh, you know, in the near future. <laughs> You're going to get your mom to cut your hair? Oh, Chris, oh, you. I get it. You're joking. <laughs> oh, it's I so might. Funny. Oh, I might need, but then again, I might be serious. You never know. Well, you are full of surprises. I am full of surprises. I am full of surprises, woman. You know me. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> I know you. I definitely, definitely know you. So uh, tell me about some of these surprises. Spoil me, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah. You got de- yeah. You know, you see my house. It'll definitely uh, look so much familiar to you. I mean, if you look anywhere on the internet, you'll recognize my house. Oh, From, I'm uh, glad. I mean, it's, it's I mean, just like, going to say you. It's just going to say Kristen Weston Chandler, right? Uh, you know, figuratively. Uh, yeah, the house the house pretty much screams Kristen Weston Chandler. You know, my car has a license plate that says Sonic You on it. Does it? Wow, that's yeah. so funny because the imposter has one just like that. You would think that they wouldn't let two tags be the same. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, that has got to be like the worst coincidence ever. I can't believe he did that to you. Yeah, god. I know. I can't. Yeah, you know, one thing I'm definitely going to I'm definitely going to share with you after we get here. My original hand drawn pages. You're just going to enjoy seeing them. The original hand drawn, unaltered, from the computer. You will definitely see the hand drawn resemblance. Well, yeah, well, I've seen them before, but I can't wait to see. I guess you know new ones and stuff. So, um, really quick, did you get my picture that I sent you? Oh yeah, I saw it. Nice. Nice. Okay. What did you think about the color shirt I was wearing? Oh yeah, red. The only thing that's missing is wine blue. <laughs> and other than that, you're other than that. At least you're a third patriotic. <laughs> we love America. Proud to be an American. As I was born in Martha Jefferson Hospital with so, a shot too. Does that picture make you horny? How horny does it make you? Oh yeah, it turns me on. How bad? Real bad. Real bad? Like last time? Oh yes. <laughs> like so many times in my past before even before I met you, but you know, there was nothing uh, you know. You know, I watched my own share of pornography in my lifetime. But, you know, it's just, uh, it's got, it's just me growing up, you know? <laughs> I, ha- I was curious. I had to know. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to call you because, like, I'm, I'm actually really, really upset right now. Oh, what's the matter? Um, did you see that fucking imposter video? He's trying to apologize. Like, I, I wonder if he did that because I told him to in my judging. But, I mean, just he just pisses me off. I mean, his fucking voice, the way he looks, his hair, just the, the way he tries to be you. Just, oh, his fat fucking face. God. I mean, doesn't I know he pisses you off. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. I hate it when people mess with you. Because, you know, I love you so much. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just checking though. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you fell in love with me when you saw my artwork on the internet, right? Yes, it was totally, totally, absolutely sonnet you. I mean, and we've just gotten so close lately that if anyone, anyone tried to tear us apart from each other, I'd probably die from heartbreak. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, that's just how much I mean, I, 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 mean you. I, I feel for you. I can, I can elate with that. Right. So, but I mean, what, what do you feel about it? I mean, I know he really pisses you off. Hmm. I mean, how, how much do you hate him? Because I mean, if I hate him about all these things, you have got to have tons of things to hate about him. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. uh, I mean, I've got pretty much uh, got uh, pretty much out of hate. I've got tired of hating, you know. So I just figured I'll just flow with it. 
Oh, so, I mean, I guess you're giving him a chance because of all this. But, I mean, you just told me the other day that he has a homosexual lisp and he probably takes it up the butt for black guys. That's, I can tell you right now, that's just a whole bunch of lies that somebody put on the uh, ED page against me. What? There's no ED page against you. That's the imposter. What are you talking about? Oh, you must you must be tired from, you know, finals and everything coming up. But, I mean, just, God, it's like, I don't know. You were just saying all this stuff the other day. And, I mean, come on, this guy. He tried to disqualify you over something stupid. He didn't even look at your video. I know he didn't look at your video. I mean, but he can put stupid things like Parappa rap in his thing and not be disqualified. Fuck that shit. Oh, oh, sorry for me cursing. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, come on, Chris. Don't, yeah, but, don't yeah, you but have any like, you know, Yeah, but it's like, you know, yeah. I kind of grew up emotionally a bit more the past few days. Oh, okay. So you're trying to take the uh, I'm the bigger guy route. Yeah. I am pretty much the uh, big, I'm pretty much the uh, big man. And I uh, realized that as such. And like, uh, you know, that my own trolls, I pretty much would, I would pretty much would thank them for the uh, publicity, publicity they've given me as well. Oh, like no uh, publicity is bad publicity, but I mean, um, yeah, well, I, mean I don't know, I mean, I'm just getting confused, but I mean, why, why did you realize all this? I mean, what, what happened? Yeah, a lot of things have happened. Uh, yeah, but you did get the uh, message I sent you, right? The, the really long email? Yeah. I mean, it was really, really heartfelt. I yeah. mean, I'm glad that you trust me that much. Yeah. You know me. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely truly a heartfelt kind of person. That's good. That's good. Um, but seriously, I mean, I really want to talk about this imposter. He's really pissing me off, Chris. I mean, come on, support me. I mean, I, I think he he subscribes to me. I think he's trying to go through me for you. Hmm. I mean, uh, could you I, believe I, that? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I uh, yeah, it just sounds I, that just sounds kind of like a bunch of fooling me. I, uh, I mean, I'm taking a closer look at uh, what he's done and everything in the past. Hmm. But yeah. Um, He's pretty much uh, growing up as well, and I have to be... Chris, how can you say that? Did you see him? Did you see him? He is trying to trick you. He is... I mean, just look at his room. He is trying to go through me to you, and that hurts me, and that makes me angry. Because, I mean, how... Who is he to fucking try to get in between us? I mean, I love you. You are the fucking creator of Sonichu. You are the fucking man. You are awesome. I mean, and every time you sing a song for me or dedicate something to me, I know that it's from you. How the fuck can he try to do that? I don't know. A lot of people are smart. Uh, I don't think he yeah, is. I think he's pretty yeah. stupid. I mean, look, look at all his hmm. toys. I mean, how old is he? Hmm. I'd say he looks about 27 himself. <laughs> but I mean, just like, come on. I mean, he probably plays video games all day on his fucking TV. I mean, he looks way older than 27, but you know, that could just be the PSI toy. Crappy shit. Well, I, do, I will admit the camera does add about a few pounds. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my mind's blanking out on me. I've had a bit of a long day myself, you know. Well, can I call you, you later? Know, I promise I'll calm down. Just, I really want to talk to you later. You know, maybe, uh, you know, talk more like last night or something. Um, just, he yeah, really pisses I, me off. Cause, I mean, I don't even think he's financially stable. And he has these things like the huge TV and the toys and everything. It's like, where are you getting those from? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, hon. It's okay. I'm here, to, I'm here for you. I'll listen to your rant. And I totally appreciate that. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen to your rants with an open mind. Well, then good, because I have so much, because he really, really, really pisses me off. I mean, just, and then this whole singing challenge, like, he has a fucking choice. 
I mean, I want you to do this with me. You've got to do it for me. I need to feel supported by you. And I mean, you were doing it last night. So what's the difference now? You've got to win. This guy is coming after you for no reason just because he wants your e-fame or whatever he thinks. Hmm. I mean, you've yeah, got to be well. out for blood, Chris, because he is. I mean, and you know I don't always condone it, but I think he's trying things that he shouldn't. And, I mean, don't you want to protect me if he is trying to get to me through you? You, you don't love me that much? I do I do care about you very much. And I am... Oh, I am no, Chris, do you love you. me that much? I love you that much. Well, then you got to do something. I am going to do something. I will protect you. I'm going to protect you from all the lies and deceit Fine, that there then tell are. Fine, tell me something you hate about him right now. Do something right now, because you need to show him down. Knock him off a few pegs. All right, make a yeah, video. I'll, do uh, something. Yeah, I'll make a video. I'll, uh, give him a little, I'll give him a little bit of a hate moment, yeah. Good. I want you to give him a huge hate moment. Fucking pig, he doesn't even look like he takes a shower. Mm. So yeah, gather your thoughts and make me a video, and that will that will just make all the anger go away. It will be so awesome. Thank you. I hear you, I'll, and I'll listen to you always. I am so sorry you had to see such an ugly side of me, but I mean, when it comes to you, I would protect you from everything, and I know you would it's do all, the same for me. It's all right. I understand. Hello. <sighs> I can't believe you did that. What What is wrong with you? I mean, you didn't, you could have just told me something. You didn't even have to make him look so bad. Just, wh what the hell? Uh, Casey, I'm sorry. I was trying to spare your feelings. No, no, you weren't. Why didn't you just tell me from the start? I mean, <laughs> I mean, what happens if he did something to me? Or what happens if you did something to me? You wanted me to come to your house. And what, what were you going to do then? You think I wouldn't know? <sighs> trying to ease you into it. I'm sorry. It's just, not it, easy someone into it. <laughs> just just what were you going to do? Rape me? Or no, what were you no, going no. to do? No, I was, gonna, I was only going to show you the true face of the real man. You have, <laughs> you, have what him. you, the real man? Why the fuck would I love you? You tricked me too. Just, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I mean, <laughs> just how could you? you? You're just as bad as him. <laughs> I know. I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, you're I'm, not, because you would have told me this shit, and, and, uh, I mean, you had so, so many chances, you're just, it's yeah, fucking me, but... you were playing with me, you were playing with my heart, I mean, what, so you could get laid out of it, so you could be no, not no, a virgin no. anymore? <laughs> no, it's, uh, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to earn, on, I was trying to be your friend, I was trying to, uh, how how was that being my friend? How was that being my friend tricking me? I mean, you were pretending to be the same person you're trying to save me from. I mean, why would I want to be your friend, much less your girlfriend? I mean, what redeeming qualities do you have that you have shown me now? <sighs> I can't say off the top of my head. But I would do my best. No, to make of up course for you can. Of done. course you can. You know what? Exactly. This isn't exactly. You can't you can't do any of the things he did for me. You can't play the guitar. You don't have a job. You aren't in school. I mean, how did you even... I can't believe you fooled me. I can't believe that I did that because, you know what, even if he tricked me, I at least was trying to stay true to him. And look what you did to me. Now, not only that, you've made me a cheater. <sighs> yeah. You're nothing you. like him. How am I just supposed to? I mean, you can't even say it anything. And look what you did. Look what you did. I am looking at what I did. I'm looking at I have done a lot of damage. I mean, you think I could go from him to you? I mean, just like that. Just like, oh, look, I make sun at you. I mean, just 
Like, you know what? Do you even know what's right and wrong? Because even if what he did was wrong, he was at least there for me. And, and... I just don't fucking know anymore. Just, what were you expecting? What were you expecting me to do? Go, oh, okay? No, no, I wasn't, I I was not expecting anything. I was not, I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, he told everybody about 14 Branch Line Court Ruckers of Virginia 229 to say, anybody come over to my house? Does that mean you could be a fat apostle too? So it makes it yeah. right. It makes it right, right? No, it does. It does. Did you just say yes to me? Did you? No, no, just no, no, say no, yes? no, no. I, 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 I'm not even. I, 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 okay, yeah. He was flossing the address around along with all the fake documents and going to fake driver's license. If he had successfully fooled anybody to actually going to the home address, they would have found the real me anyway. Then realized that doesn't he matter. You've already put that troll. info on the internet, obviously, because I went to your pages and I went to the ED thing and I went to everything. And I mean, you put yourself out there, so you were asking for it. But did, does that mean that I had to be caught up in the middle? You could have told me. You could have told me. I mean, you could have saved me. But you know what? You are just as bad as him. You're just a big fat fucking liar. I didn't have a, I did not have a, as much information from the uh, from Dan. I uh, from his name. That guy's name is Dan. I didn't have that his much name information is Chris. from Dan his yet. His name is Chris. God. No, I'm talking about the guy who called who called him Jeff. Whatever. Well, who cares that it's you know you didn't have to give me those fucking emails. I mean, because that just made him look bad too. And I don't think he's really doing that shit behind my back. I really, really don't. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I've I, seen him. I've been with him. I've seen his car. I've seen his driver's license. What the hell, dude? What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting him down for, uh, I'm not saying that he, uh, he's guilty of those things or, uh, anything like that. Or then anything why would like you show that? them to me? Why would you show me those first before you decided to tell me? You were trying to make him look bad and you know it. So where does that put you? Where does that put you in this? I, I understand. It just puts me in a bad position. Why would you even do that? You. Like, if you did, if you did want a chance with me, and let's say I would come around, what? I, I can't even speak to you. I can't even speak to you. I am so angry. I, I understand. I you understand. You don't even sound like you are upset that I'm crying. So, what am I supposed to I am to upset. No, I am no, upset. You're I'm just no, trying you're to remain not. calm. I'm trying to How remain am I calm. To be this. calm. Look what you did. I know, I know. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. You're just disappointed. I'll do, I'll, 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 and I would be willing I, I to do anything in the world to make it up to you. But why did you invite me over first? You're just disappointed because now I'm definitely not coming. You, I mean, just you had ulterior motives, or else you would have told me something first. You fucking told me, hey, call me, hey, send me pictures, hey, come visit me. The first thing you said, the first thing was, hey, come see me. What? What the well, hell? I, I assumed he was going to tell you that anyway. I, I had, I mean, no, I, I no, have... but you know what? Do you know, uh, what? Oh, I mean, do you not get that even, let's say he is doing all these evil things to you. Do you not get that trying to steal a girlfriend is wrong? Did you not get that maybe, maybe I love him? And I mean, you mean you were trying to say you weren't going to rape me, but you're like, we can go into my room and go straight to lovemaking. I mean, when were you going to tell me? When were you going to tell me? When I came in the door? You think I wasn't going to freak out or something? You think I wasn't going to notice that it, you're not him? And that would be <sighs> embarrassing for your parents. What? Did you not even think of them? I thought of a lot of things, but I can't think of everything at once. I have a mental problem. Even I'm actually slow in the mind sometimes. I you know what? That's not a good enough excuse. Hey, no, you let not... me talk. You let me talk. No, okay. that is okay. not a good excuse. That is never a good excuse. You just do not freaking do that. You do not blame shit like that. You, you knew what you were doing, and I know you were doing what you were doing. You were being a selfish little prick. Uh, I thought, I'm sorry I gave off that impression. Well, what did I'm you sorry. think you were going to do? I was going to, I was going to, I just wanted to show you the face of truth. I just want. I mean, I, I mean, sure I could. I mean, I, mean, I don't think it's much of a impression. I think you are like that. No. You're just sad because no, I'm, he, I'm serious. I would not, I would not, I would not ask, I would, I seriously would not ask you to do that. Excuse me? 
I you do not smoke over, you do especially that. not after what you've done. Especially not after what you've done. I understand. Yeah, I understand. You got all the nervous tension from the stress and all the shock and everything. No, no, I have nervous tension because you decided to play me. And it has it has nothing to do with what he did now. It has to do with what you did. You tried to play me. And you let me talk to you like that on the phone, knowing that you were I I should have known. I should have known. You're just you're terrible. You are so terrible. What what did you think was gonna happen? That I was gonna say thank you? You're awesome? I love you. You said you loved me, and you're not. Oh my god! Oh, you're a horrible, I, I, horrible I, I, human being. Uh, if you're even a human being, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I cannot say that I love you. I never. I, I mean, I even never even wanted to say I love you, but you forced me to say I love you a few times. I didn't force you to do anything. I didn't force you to do anything. Remember that I thought you were my Chris. I thought you were my Chris. So why wouldn't he, thought, he tell me yeah, that he? Yeah, me? he thought I was Jeff. His name is no, Jeff. No, his name, his name is Chris. Yeah, taking a look at his driver's license, but uh, but uh, seriously though, I had. I mean, I, I was. I mean, I had to uh, let you know. I was trying. I mean, I was. I mean, I thought I'd give you a chance to get to know me, per upon my whoa, own whoa, whoa, personal whoa, whoa. level. You think, you think I'm still gonna get to know you? You you what? Uh, no, what? I mean, if, I mean, if, uh, listen. If I told you right off. You would have thought that, like, oh, my God, the troll got into his account, and you would still think that he was the real Chris. I'm well, don't trying you to think you should my, have done that I'm, I'm, I've been trying to get back my own identity that he stole from me. Oh, he stole your identity, huh? Well, maybe if you didn't post it all over the fucking Internet, he wouldn't have been able to have it. You ever think of that? I mean, all I had to, I mean, sure, all I, had, all I needed was Christian Weston Chandler, the well, you know what? That's none of those. Though. None of those. None of those are very uh, exotic names. You don't think that he couldn't have the same name by you know coincidence? I mean, a lot of people are named Chris. Yeah, I can understand that, but still, he's not the. I mean, but I can tell you that he is not the Christian Weston Chandler. If okay, he's not you, name. but you know what? You're showing me who Christian Weston Chandler is, and he's just a fat fuck who doesn't care about me, who doesn't care about anyone's feelings. I mean. Just and uh, what you were getting me to spy on your own friend. You were getting me to spy on your own friend Kim. And what the hell? And you were saying how she might like you or whatever. What about that? What happens? You know what? I'm talking to Kim. What happens if I tell Kim? I don't think she's gonna like that. Because I know yeah. I don't. I can imagine. Yeah, I can just imagine. Yeah, she wouldn't like that at all. I mean, uh, she has but a boyfriend too, right? Like what it. happens if her boyfriend finds out? Because he's going to. He is going to. You're just a I've big chuckle a lot, I've, had a lot of, I've had a lot of emotional traumas in my lifetime in the past with women. I mean, I've even lost some over the yeah, internet. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why you have. I mean, if you treat them like this, yeah. You know what? No, no wonder no, you think it's out of place. I treat them with kindness and respect. Don't you talk, of, don't you talk over... They oh, yeah, got they killed. Kindness they respect. died. Yeah, probably because they wanted to get away from you. But no. you do not talk over me like that. Like Sarah Jackson died in an automobile accident. I'm serious. Her sister told me that. Sarah Cassandra McKenzie what? slash Panda Halo oh, yeah. like, died like, in I, brush fire. Like, I can believe anything that you... Like, I can believe you. Like, I can totally believe you. And you know what? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Because you know what? I don't care. I don't care if he's not the son of Chikari. I don't care who he is. I love him. And he's been there for me. And... You okay. will never, ever be him. He can at least play guitar. He can sing to me. He's been the one with me. You have it. The f only time I've had with you is you trying to trick me and get me in bed. What the fuck? What the fuck? You even lied to me about going to college. It must yeah. be a speaker because you know what? I, I, I don't even I, sound I, like I, 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 I understand and I respect your decision. You are welcome to stay with him, but still, you have to know oh, that... Oh, I'm welcome uh, to stay with him? I get your permission? I get your permission? I get your permission to stay with my own boyfriend? Where Where are no, you no, coming I, off? I, I, never, I never said that. I never meant to. Yes, like you did. That. You just said that I was welcome to. Maybe you should choose your words a little better. Uh, yeah, you're right. I sometimes have a bad choice. Sometimes I don't know when to use my own words. I am, I mean, it's a part of my, part of the real life autism is sometimes. This is why no girl, of, don't you blame that, don't you blame that, are you serious? 
Are you serious? Do you not know how many autistic children I've worked with? And you know what? They don't do that. They don't fucking do that. And you know what? I don't even think you have autism. I think you have something else. I think you have something that just makes you so n- narcissistic. That's just so – you're so full of yourself. I mean that's not autism. What the hell is actually, wrong with you? Actually, yeah. That is a piece no, of No, no, it's not. Being no. socially inept. And I guarantee, I can guarantee you I know more about this shit than you. You know what? Prove it. Prove it. Go ahead. Because I don't believe you. You ever, ever, ever want a chance with me? You need to chew, You need to prove that. Yeah, I'm not always so smart. I no, your behavior is inexcusable and has nothing to do with being smart or stupid. It has to do with being you. Yeah. Mm. And you well. know what? The best part is you're not going to learn anything from this, are you? You're just going to keep doing this shit to people like poor Kim or poor Megan or any of this crap. Uh, actually, for your information, Kim already has a boyfriend, and I respect her space. So, so, so that makes it better that you want me to spy on her to see if she likes you she, and all that stuff. She, no, no, she can tell you the same. She can tell you the actual kind of person she learned from me. From oh no, I think I think she's gonna know something different. I think she's gonna know something different because you're fucking disgusting me, and I know you're gonna disgust her. Actually, this is, it's this not gonna, actually, it's not going to surprise her. She's actually pretty much figured this out on her own, and we discussed hey, this. Would you, would you stop insulting me? No, no, seriously, seriously. I think that you need to prove it to both of us, because you know what? I'm sick of this. I mean, you want, you know what? You're going to lean on your autism so much and everything. You need to prove it. You need to fucking prove it to me. And I think you owe me after what you put me through the last couple of days. I think you fucking owe me. I'll do, uh, I'll do anything. I'll uh, get the paper. You better do it. You better do it. I'll get the paper, I'll take, I'll uh, get, I'll make it into a picture file, and I'll email it to you personally. You better. Because I, I swear to God, if you, you better not be lying to me. Because remember, I'm not too far away. And I would be very, very happy to tell the authorities about what you did. Because remember, you were still doing identity theft too of him. And you were leading me on. And I mean, I uh, just, thank God I wasn't there. No. He was the one that did identity theft against Oh, okay, yeah. I'll, Fine, okay, whatever. Yeah, I was just angry. Okay, yeah, for the grant. I'm sorry. I take that back. Granted, for the past two days, I did pretend to be him. But I never said, I never called myself Jeff. That's his real name. Though. His name is not Jeff. But you know what? The thing is, all you're doing is pulling the autism card, and I can tell you've done it before. That does not excuse any of this shit. You prove it to me you're tomorrow. Right. All right, I'll prove it to you. <sighs> yeah. Mm. But, you know, I... But no, you don't even have an like, excuse to you. You don't have an excuse at all. I'm not asking for an excuse. I was going to ask no, you... No, you're giving me excuses. I was, go- I, I was going to ask you for a... Fa- for, a for a... For a favor? You want favor. me to give you a favor after all this? Fine, stop, you know what? Stop. It's, not, it's, not that kind, it's not that kind of favor. Please I didn't listen. say it was that I type of favor. I just want you to talk to... The, this uh, the, this Christian Weston Chandler in brown stripes or Jeff or whatever his name is. I just want you to encourage God, him. God, just shut the fuck up. up. He's not the real original creator. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about him. Shut the fuck my own up. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, it has nothing to do with him right now. This is between you and me. Yes, this is between is you and me, but I'm just asking you to encourage him to, re- to uh, reveal himself. Well, who would want your identity now? Oh, my God. When I tell him this, you think he's going to care? Let's say you're right. You think he's going to care anymore? You have sullied the name of Christian Weston Chandler and Sonnet Chu. I mean, think about what you did. It, it, forever. Forever. I, it's not just is this the way you want people to remember you? No, it's not. I'm trying, you do to prove, I'm trying to improve myself. I learned. Well, you know, well, you can start with things. showing me those documents. That's how you can start. Okay. Okay, well, let me go ahead and get my main questions I had written down in my little notebook out of the way. Oh, you um, have questions? Yeah, go ahead and ask them. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, this is a poor one. You don't have any STDs, do you? Chris, why would you ask me that? <laughs> of course <laughs> I don't. Okay, I'm sorry. I, just, I mean, I, I you know like, I've only been with a... one person. Yeah, well, I mean, I just felt like I just had to ask anyway. Uh, okay, that's just wow. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't up. I, I, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, 
It wasn't a very good opening topic. I know. I'm sorry. This is the first one I had on my thing here. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope the I, rest of the questions aren't that bad. I know. Yeah. Well, here, here's a, here. We'll do one A right here. Um, yeah. Let's, yeah. We talked. I think we talked about your education background a little bit. You were on, you uh, you said you had honor roll grades back in high school. Yes, I was 4.0 all the way. Well, that's good. Yeah, you got your you got your diploma now. Um, okay, did you uh, ever did you get any awards? At, like you know, right before graduation. Um. Yeah. Like. Um. I actually had a couple poems published, and um, I actually graduated with way more credits than I needed, so I got a merit certificate. You got a merit certificate. Yes. Hmm. Tell me about that. What does that do for you? Uh, it just it just goes with your diploma. It just shows that you did way more than you needed to do. So um, I wow. got that, and you know, and I did like um, over two hundred hours of community service. So I got it's just wow. it's just something that you know you it doesn't really do anything. I mean, awards in high school are nothing. I mean, they really don't ever help you ever in your life. Hmm. Yeah, but it's like, you know, the achievement, it just makes you feel better. Like, you know, I wish I would have gotten a war for my creativity back in high school. I mean, I guess, but I mean, high school really doesn't do anything for you, so it's not a big deal. Uh, it does not more than you, it's not more than you think, though, you know. I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's like it's, uh, it prepares you a little bit more for the adult life that you're going to be, and you're going to be leaving high school for. Yeah, but I mean, uh, nobody cares. They look at college all the time. College is way bigger of a deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. I hear that. Um, so, uh, any other questions? Uh, what's the most recent political thing that's uh, that's uh, on your mind now at this point? Um, probably health care. Because, you know, that's oh, what I'm going to be doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're, working to, you're, work, you're, you're, you're working towards getting your nurse degree. Healthcare. Yep. Okay, um, yeah, we've talked about that a little bit before. Mm. Yeah, let's see if I remember. Um, I think you kind of agreed with me about uh, when I said, like, yeah, not everybody can afford health care. So, like, you know, I said, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, then, yeah, Chris, I think you agreed with me because you didn't even know about reformed health care, you just knew about socialized health care. Yeah, that's true. I did. I did agree with you. Hello. But then, then you kind of agree with you know what when I was talking about about, about, about talking about my father and me going down to Tom Perryello's office, and then he brought that up. But yeah, I was like agreeing with him at the time as well. But yeah, and then you, and when you talked, you kind of agreed with him a little bit too. Right. Well, um, do you have any other questions? Because uh, there's something on my mind that I really need to talk to you about. Oh, we could talk about that. What's up? Okay, um, so you know all these trolls have been bothering me, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I so I was talking to my aunt about it. She's a nurse, too. And, you know, she got really suspicious. And um, she Googled your name. And, you know, some of the things that the trolls have been saying, I mean, I think they might be true. I mean... What is, you know, it's disturbing and it's making me really uneasy, especially since, you know, you've said you uh, think about me to such a degree. And I mean, it's just like, I mean, I, I know you've talked about the ED site before, but I mean, is a lot of that true? Like, uh, like, why are you doing half those things in those videos? And, and I thought you were anti-gay and you're drinking your own cum. It's, it's gross. And it's just, it's uh, bothering me. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is a whole bunch then, of skeletons. That is a whole bunch of skeletons in my closet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, why I'd would say, you do that? I mean, did they make you do that? Uh, no. As for the, uh, yeah. I pretty much volunteered myself into doing that because it was like, you know, I considered it like recycling. So it's like, you know, didn't have to lose it, uh, and plus, you know, I, I read on the internet those like health benefits. Uh, health benefits of what? Of doing that? Yeah. 
There, there's there's no real health benefits. Those are all myths. I mean, it doesn't help your hair. doesn't help your nails. There's not enough protein in it. I mean, is, is wait, wait, that... Anyway, I've stopped doing that months ago. Well, that's good, but I mean, there's no point in doing it. I mean, I... I, I yeah. I mean, especially not if you were so anti-gay. I mean, it's just, I mean, most people would see that and go, wow, this guy must be at least bisexual. <sighs> okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I can definitely see from your point of view, and I understand. Uh, yeah, but I think it's like, you know, I've learned from, I learned from my mistakes, and yeah, I've, I've, grown, I've grown to their understanding and whatnot. Um uh, anyway, uh, most uh, mostly other stuff like you know, uh, yeah, most uh, yeah, the videos and you know, me drawing my yeah, drawing my dick and pictures of that, yeah. Okay, well, another thing that yeah, really disturbed. Okay, disturb I, I, I was caught, hey, I was no, caught, no, caught. let me go. Okay, another thing that really disturbed me is apparently you told these trolls that you uh, you shit yourself. I mean, what the hell, Chris? It's pretty much, uh, yeah, that, I, I'm, I'm more in control of my dog movements nowadays, and, yeah, I, I, I do that less. But, well, I mean, yeah, it, like, 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 can you just, you're 27, I mean, do you just not make it to the bathroom, or, or what? Uh, yeah, I just don't, I just don't make it to the bathroom quickly enough. What, how do you not know? Your body gives you... You know, it lets you know that you're something. I mean, it's like, I mean, yeah. Uh, I like, mean, what I, was the I, last I, time it happened? If you're so in control. Okay, the last time it happened, yeah, it was like three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Well, it said that it happened recently. So, are these lies? Yeah, there are. Yeah, I would say they are. They're exaggerating those. If it happened recently, those are lies. Okay, okay, but you've got to see for all this lifetime, stuff is lifetime, disturbing to me. I, mm, yeah, I can, yeah, I can, I can, I can relate to that. I can understand how you feel. Yeah, I, I feel, I would feel uneasy too if I was, if I was, if I wasn't myself and I was uh, reading that, you know, about myself or, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, still, most of the, most of the information that they got uh, on that ED page it's like they conned out. They conned out of me from from pretending to be the past woman I talked to, like uh, Blanca Vice or. Uh, okay, but uh, you can't Julie. blame other people. I mean, if those people aren't near you, you can't say that they made you give them those videos. I mean, yeah, what plus, are you thinking? Plus, I mean, this is why your parents are mad at you right now. Yeah, plus I was more gullible back then, and I'm less. And I've been less gullible for the past few months, and now. I've learned from my mistakes, and I'm moving on from the I'm moving on, trying to trying to put all that behind me. And plus, I got I got a Charlottesville detective uh, and the FBI to help me towards taking towards the uh, down taking of that website and the uh, downfall of the trolls. Okay, but, yeah, but still, yeah, most, Chris. I mean, it, Chris, you need to understand this stuff is kind of disturbing. And I mean, like, okay, look, like, I mean, like stuff you do. I, in real life, like, if most people touched me as much as you did, I would have gone off of them. But, I mean, I'm trying to be polite because I know you have difficulties. And, and I mean, that you, uh, like you say, slow in the mind. But, I mean, you, you've got to understand, you can't keep doing this shit. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. And besides, uh, I mean, you keep saying that the cops don't care about things. I mean, you've really got to let some of this stuff go. I mean... I mean, don't be slow in the mind with that. I mean, if they don't care, they're not they're never gonna help you and even just one lone detective isn't gonna be able to do anything. Yeah. But yeah, also I did go to Tom Perry a little bit about that as well and talk to him about that. Well, I mean, what exactly is he gonna do? Mm, and I mean I mean, sure. like what about your counselors at church? I mean, do they know all this? Do they know this stuff? Yeah, they know. Yeah, they more or less know about what's been going on in the ED page. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the people. I mean, between my pastor and 
uh, that Pastor Elizabeth and my pastor, Counselor Rocky. Uh, yeah, they're ashamed with uh, their church and all that being on the internet and being put on the ED page and being slandered around in that sense. And I, yeah, I can, I, I can tell them I've been relating with that as well. And that's just one of the things I'm trying not to think. That's just one of the bad pieces that, like, you know, I mean, I'm not ignorant of it. I know that. I understand it. I just like, But Chris, I, okay, there was a video of you humping a PlayStation 3. What the hell? I was, I was, I was, black, I was blackmailed into that. But by, yeah. how are they blackmailing you? These people are on the internet. How are they blackmailing you? You, they, They're not going to do uh, anything uh, to uh, you. Okay. Okay, Casey. Yeah, this happened like a month, like over, like two months ago. Over, about about over. Yeah, I'd say yeah, closer to two months now. Uh, anyway, yeah, this person Jack Thaddeus got hold of the majority of my PlayStation Network accounts, including my main, my main American one, my secondary American one, and my in, my import accounts, including my Japan, Hong Kong, and. Spain. Wait, 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 wait! You were doing this over a PlayStation account. That's not what just, all this was about. Not just one, but a whole, but the, but the major, but the it's whole bunch. It's video of games. Account. It's oh my gosh! You could have easily called them, and they would have understood. I mean, it's video yeah. games. You are letting them get to you that bad over a video game. Yeah. Okay. okay Chris, before, think about but, what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Case before that, before I made before the that video happened. Let me give you the. Let me start from the beginning here. No, no, you're it, doing this for a video game. It doesn't matter what they did. These are nameless people behind a computer screen. They're not going to do anything to you. I mean, you did uh, this. You're giving them all this stuff over a video game. I mean, me, you need to grow Casey, up. I'm, 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 I'm talking, Casey. Please, uh, let me start from the beginning. Okay, yeah, Jack Dalias got hold of my PlayStation Network accounts. And uh, then I tried, and then I called up my called up my American PlayStation company, and uh, got my got both my American accounts back. But I was put on a one month ban because they considered like game sharing, and that was like my third my third strike against me on that. And they're like, you know, the next time it might be permanent. Okay, they cut your going, losses. Is it really worth it? Is it worth having this on the internet for the rest of your life over an account on a PS3? Yeah, there's a. Uh, you know, your roommate can tell you more about how the accounts are linked to, like, you know, the PlayStation tiles and the tiles that go to your pick can be copied to the PSP. Like, it doesn't matter. Play. It's a video game. You cut your losses and you tell them, fine, take it. And, I mean, it, it's well, not I've worth it. $2,000 on my main American Whoa, life. whoa, you've spent $2,000 on video games? Why would you ever spend that much on video games? What did and, you get? And, but, and, but this was, but, and this was over the course of, like, two, three years. Like I haven't spent that much on video games in two to three years. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't Even have a girlfriend. Even if it's two years, it's a thousand dollars a year. It doesn't matter if you have a girlfriend or not. That that's insane. That's like those people who play Halo all the time and they do nothing. Anyway, getting back to anyway, getting back to getting back on track here. Yeah, I got my American accounts back. I had trouble trying to get back my Japan and my Spain, which those were important to me. Cause Why would you good. even have that many accounts? Why? I mean, isn't American account just good enough? And okay, how are like they getting? I, how would they be I, able to get I all like of getting them? Import. Okay, but why would they be able to get all of them at once? I mean, did you make them all the same password? I mean, all those. Are, okay, you can't have that many accounts. That's like fraud and stuff. Uh, just I mean, okay, how did well, they? First, how did they get them? Okay, firstly. I had like a multiple number of email addresses, and uh, multiple and different passwords for all of them. Uh, upon the recent event for Jack Adius, I share. I pretty much uh, Kim. Kim asked me to uh, share the uh, for me to share the inf- share my PlayStation information with her because she has a PlayStation Three. And Are like, you blaming Kim? Doctor. Are you saying no, it's no, Kim's not, fault? No, no, it's not Kim's fault, and she and I talked about this before. But anyway, she had t- I had told her the uh, inf- the uh, information and the the uh, na- usernames and the passwords for you know, the majority. And then she, okay, Chris, uh, Chris, you know what? Okay, let's go back to something. Hey, 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 Chris, let's go back to something. You said you spent over two thousand dollars. Okay, you were on an income which taxpayers like myself pay. How much do you spend on video games a week? I'm not sure. 
Okay, you can't even keep track of that. What gives you the right to take that money and to spend two thousand dollars of it on video games? Where the, I mean, I can't even buy myself video games. So why should I pay for you to just spend your money most, on all this? Most of my income goes goes towards my family. Uh, paying them a monthly rent of two fifty. They go. No, that doesn't the, matter. That doesn't matter. Bills. It doesn't matter think, what I, you pay I, like I, that. I only get like two. I only get like two hundred out of my eight hundred a month. Then why would you spend that much on games? That makes even less sense. I mean, okay, with these games that you spent so much money on, how much do you even play them a week? How much do you even play them? On a mere daily basis. All of them? A whole $2,000? The majority of it, yes. Okay, I find that hard to believe. I mean, and even if you were, don't you think maybe... You should be, like, like you were talking about getting a job. Like, how are you going to be able to do that and playing all these games at once? You should be, uh, I mean, like, have you even done anything more besides going to the Social Security office? Yeah. I was going to call Mr. Will yesterday to find out more about that working ticket, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, yeah, today is still Friday. I was going to call him today, but then stress happened yesterday, and I had to take the emotional day today. I just didn't feel up to making the call. Chris, then how are you ever going to work? How are you ever going to work? You can't just have emotional days like that. I mean, you either work or you don't. I mean, you've got to grow up a little. I've I've been growing up. I've been growing up. It's just so much. It's just a a whole lot for me to think about. Well, this is why your parents are mad at you. I can see why they're mad at you. I mean, do they even know you spent that much on video games? And then you just let. I, 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 oh my gosh. I mean, I don't, I didn't want to go into work today and I went in, I didn't want to go to school today and I went and I mean, and I've been having problems with sinuses and I mean, come on. I mean, if I, I mean, if I did have a job and all that, uh, so many complications, uh, yeah, when I got my social security at first, I was, uh, first, you know, like, I think it was like that. Chris, Chris, if you really only get $200 a month, how did you get all that money for those video games? Did you steal it? Free information. No, free information. I get $800 a month. No, but you said you only get, you just said you only get $200 out of it because your parents take the rest. I mean, so how did you, I mean, that would have taken you a long time. and, And that's if you never spent any other money on anything but video games. Where did you get that money? Yeah, most be it, honest. It it, 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 it it did come out of the uh, remaining two hundred. I probably spent like a hundred and fifty out of that per month. There's no way you could have mathematically have done that and only spent your two hundred on video games. Where did you get the rest of that money? And please be honest with me. Uh, between credit card, between credit cards and you have credit cards. Are they your? You took your parents' credit cards for video games? No, no, not my parents. They were my own credit cards. I actually applied for those. They had my name on them. Why would you do that? You, you don't gamer. have a no. That doesn't matter. But you need to be smart about. It. You don't have a job. I mean, you've got to be in so much debt. Uh, yeah, well, Chris, how are you like... going to get this family you want if you have all this debt? I mean, and how do you pay off the credit cards? Yeah, fortunately, my my father and my mother decided to help me out there. They paid my credit card bills, and I'm paying them back. And you think they're going to be there forever? You think they're always going to clean up after your mistakes? No, no, I know they're not going to clean up after my mistakes forever. I'm not, and I'm not going to make those mistakes again. I don't know, Chris. This is giving me a lot to think about. Maybe if you just would have not tried to be so serious, like I asked, I mean, just, you know, bat, but, uh, you know, I had to get, I, this whole thing is just so suspicious. (sighs) Wait a minute, this whole thing? Just everything, everything that I've, that I've been getting in these emails. Everything my aunt found. Come on, don't act like you don't know what we're talking about. 
You know I, that I, the I trolls know, have been trolling I know, me. I, I, know what we're ta- I know what we're talking about. I'm just processing it and remembering in my head. I know, but I mean, you said you had a degree, right? So, um, why aren't you doing anything with it? Like, when I get mine, I mean, I'm getting my PhD. I'm going to be getting over 100000 a year. What are you going to be able to do? You've got to think about that. Look, my father, told, my father encouraged me to get the to go towards computer a graphic design degree. They encouraged me to go to college in the first place. Then why aren't you using I mean, it? Because I don't know. I don't know how. You apply I mean, for a I job that I mean, says I, I, you I, need I, this I, degree. I know I have the computer a graphic design degree and certificate. Help me towards. I know I can build buildings and whatever on the computer. So why don't you do that instead of making a resume that has Sonichu and Rosichu on it? I know they're in a very important part of your life, but you could actually go because, do something. Because I just feel, I just feel more comfortable with drawing the comics and the cartoons than I do with the uh, with just the uh, with just the buildings and the computers and what. Okay, well you know what? Well, I feel a lot better drawing and doing you know singing and stuff than I do waitressing. But you know what? I have to be a productive member of society, and I have to go out and do my job every freaking day. Whether I rather be home talking to my friends or going shopping or doing whatever. I see. I mean, my aunt has done factual independent research. And found that a lot of these things are true that she found out on her own. Uh, I mean, you I'm can't always like... blame everything with the trolls and ED. Okay, yeah, I'll admit that, you know, some of the things in the ED are true. But, you know... Yes, I know that. I just told you they were. They, they warp it around. They, sli- they make it worse. But, I Chris, she has been it. able to verify this information in other places. I just said that it wasn't all ED. Uh, you need to start taking up. responsibility. I mean, I don't think anyone I know wants to stay in their job the whole time. But I mean, I mean, don't you want to be a productive member of society? Don't you want? Don't you want to go through your own potential? Maybe Sonichu and Rosa Chu isn't doing it right now. Maybe you need to get your foot in the door first. Yeah, I'm working on getting my foot in the door. I'm gonna buy a new. I'm gonna buy a new printer, scanner, copier next week. I'm going to bring For what? How is that going to help you with your with your CAD degree? How is that going to help you utilize something that you went to school for? I'm going to print out copies of my number zero book and then some to send to Marvel, Star Horse, and Archie Comics with my resume. So then science you and most of the books could be actually made to get me paper published and the merchandise to follow, the video games and all that. So what if I that doesn't work? What's your safety net? What if that doesn't work? Chris, look look at Sonichu. It It's not bad, but what if they don't like it? I mean, it's nothing like, you know, like any other comic books I've seen. And, I mean, you, you hijack your own your own comic and make it about you. Yeah, that's true. But still, I mean, at least I have a worldwide fan base. I'm very popular. I mean, that's even more than enough for any comic book company to uh, want to want to accept me and uh, let me work for them. Well, even if you have a fan base, you know, they have, they, they don't go, they just aren't going to go off of your fan base. I mean, especially if you don't have factual proof of how many there are. They're going to show it to um, groups that they have that do this for a living. And what happens if they don't like it? I mean, you need a backup plan. I can't believe you have a degree that's just sitting around gathering dust. You went to college. I mean, if I went to college and just let my degree just sit there, I never got certified or licensed. I mean, what's the whole point? You've, you've got to do something with it. Don't you think that yeah, would make your parents proud? Yeah, I'd like to make my, I would like to make my parents proud. I have so many things in my life that I would like to do. As a matter of fact, you know, during the whole time, even, earn, even while earning my degree, I just never actually had a job game plan during that, during that time. And even after I got my degree, I just did not know where to go. Just like I just They have career the, uh, centers in every college for that. Yeah, but then no, but, but then what you you can't even what, contact now because you got yourself freaking out. You've got yourself an order where you can't even go there. I mean, uh, they have counselors to help, and you screwed that over over this stupid stuff. How how why? 
Mary Lee Walsh got me really mad. She interrupted my early days of my sweetheart search. Oh, and now it's back to Mary Lee Walsh. It's not you, right? Well, I mean, you know, that, but yeah, that was the I thing. I thought you I, forgave it's her. Not, it's, it's not, it's, it, I, I mean, I did forgive her, but still, that's what caused that portion of the thing. I'm just going back to that for the one time, just the reference, this reference. Look, just because she didn't like how you were trying to get a girlfriend does not equal you not being able to go on with your life. <sighs> there are, there, I mean, okay, you also, like, let's, okay, you are on disability. The government has so much for you. You could go to another college and they would pay for most of it. They would, you know, they could help you so much. You just need to reach out. I mean, the only thing I'm looking at is that you're saying that. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, especially with you wanting to be a house husband. I mean, it's just having sex and a girlfriend more important than a job than being a man. In other cultures, you would not survive. I I have the capabilities to survive. I have the capabilities of cooking. I, I'm capable of being able to uh, do laundry and uh, no, and that's all that. not what I'm talking about. You you have a degree. You need to use it. I don't even know of any places around Charlottesville that are hiring for that sort of thing. Why don't even you look them my, up? Even go on the even, internet. Even, even though, my, even though, my, even though Susan has in the Piedmont, uh, it says that there are Chris. jobs like that around Charlottesville, possibly available. Chris, you have a CAD degree. You can do work from home. I mean, what happens if you found a great job and you had to move out of Charlottesville? Would it really be that bad if you had to move out of your parents' house? Uh, I grew up in this house. It's like, you know... You're 27. You have to leave sometime. Are you waiting for your parents to die or something? No. Then what? You're just going to live there your whole life? I just don't know. It's just for a long, I mean, I have to feel uncomfortable, and I just have not done, I just don't, I, so many things for me to gather in my head out of the whole lifetime, I just, okay, Chris, so many Chris, things for me to Chris, understand. Chris, you want me to be interested in you, but you're telling me right now that you want to live in your parents' house for the rest of your life? What? You, and you think no, I'm going to go for that? No, I did not say that, I mean, I mean like, you know, if, if things got that, got, oh, got that far, I mean, I'd be happy to move in with you if that was the case. But I'm, I'm just. <sighs> but you can't do something for yourself. Yeah, I just. There's uh, so many things tied up with this one house at once. Okay, but but okay. Let's say you did move in with me. What are you going to do? Are you just going to sit around and draw sun at you and rosy? Or are you going to actually go out and do something? I would actually go out and do something. Well, well why can't you do that first? Why can't you prove to me that first? <sighs> I mean, what are you going to do? Well, I would go out and see if I could see if I could find somebody who would hire me. Well, I mean, I don't know why you just don't do it right now. We have the internet. I mean, that's so easy. What would you would you would you do? Well, even when it comes to the internet, I don't know what to put in as a search term. I just. That's, that's put in CAD. To... Put in your degree. It's not that hard. Any simpleton can figure it out. And yeah, then there are more details where I just couldn't. I just don't comprehend yet. <sighs> but Chris, seriously, y- you need to take this seriously. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it is ridiculous. Maybe. I mean, I. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. I mean, you're just giving me excuses why you don't need to be productive. I mean, are you just going to you just going to sit around? I mean, you don't even know what kind of job you can get with a CAD degree, do you? Yeah, that is one that's one problem. Yes. Well, I mean, it's it's simple. You even said something like buildings and stuff. I mean, come on. I mean, why don't why don't you research this? You could go to Wikipedia for God's sakes and find out what you could do with a CAD degree. You just want to sit around and collect your tugboat for the rest of your life, don't you? No. I don't want to so Why have you done anything? It's tugboat. been years since you've been in school. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? It's been years since you've been in school. Oh, yeah, why aren't, been why haven't you done anything yet? 
I mean, most people take a gap year, but that's a year. One year, not forever. Yeah, you're right. It's just I've been feeling wayward. Wayward? To me, to me, yeah, lost. Didn't know what to do. Well, you're going to stay lost until you actually do something. Or, you know what? Try to go to a school that you're not banned from and get a degree in something you really want to do. Why aren't you going into art or something? I didn't think of that when I first applied for a degree. Why don't you do something now? I mean, I'm I'm only one year younger than you, and I'm going to school now. I've changed my major. It's not hard. And you can get help. It's a lot harder for me. Yeah. Some people have multiple degrees. I mean, look at me. I'm double majoring and minoring. Hmm. Yeah. But you're not going to do anything. Just something tells me you're just not. I'm going to do something. I just... I'm just processing all this in my head so then I can figure out what to do. I mean, my current plan is to try to get myself published in Marvel, DC, or Dark Horse. Or you need to just... Yeah, but you need a backup plan. Forget about that. Forget about that. You need to start by getting a job somewhere. I mean, okay. Okay, also, do you know why? Do it for Rosa Chu and Sana True. Because seriously, like, are they going to take you seriously when they see that you've been out of work for a long time? Even starving artists do something. Like I said, be a fry cook. Do something. Most people in comics have an art degree anyway. And besides, I mean, how far are you really going to go when you made a character out of two copyrighted characters? And your comics are full of things that are copyrighted. I mean, I know they're like private jokes it's and everything. Called, it's called a parody. It doesn't seem like a parody. <sighs> a parody generally Nothing. makes fun of things. Are you making fun of Sonic? No. I just, I'm just... I, I'm just uh, accentuating off some of the things that I like. Okay, but then that's that's a fan comic. That's not a comic. That is fan fiction. That's like uh, Mary Sue shit. What? You can't sell it. It's just fan fiction. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try. Anyway, anyway, yeah, plan A, try for her to get myself paper published and all that. Uh, yeah, plan B, I'll, I'll definitely take everything that we talked about into consideration. Uh, I'll Google computer and drafting and design, see what I can get with that degree. Or even, uh, because, you know, my family could not, because, you know, we can't, my family could not afford to, uh, at this time, to uh, give, even give me classes, even at University of Virginia, which is more expensive than Piedmont. Okay, but you need permission from the original copyright holders to sell this. Like, you try to sell Sanchi and Rosa Chu, and Nintendo and Sega and Konami are going to be on your ass. I tried to get. I mean, Nintendo didn't you think about that? You think they're not going to see that? that? I thought about that, and I tried to. Say, Chris, I said my Chris, these people have it. lawyers where their job is to just go everything on the internet to find something that they can sue over. I'm surprised that they didn't find it already. And if they didn't find it already, how famous can Sonichu really be? Because this is their job. Their job is to cause lawsuits. Well, they, if, if that was their job, they would have sued me years ago. Then I guess maybe Sonichu isn't as big as you thought. I'm not trying to be mean here. This is tough love, Chris. I mean, you've got to do something. It's reality. Yeah. I know I have to do something. I'm so, okay, then what are you going to do? Are you What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow, then? I'll Google computer driving this. I'll, computer, I'll Google CAD and Charts, and I'll see what jumps are available around here. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a message from Mr. Will, see if I can get a work ticket on my, on my degree. On my do you know what I want you to do tomorrow? Do you know what I want you to do? Okay, I want you to go out and put out an application or two. Can you do that? 
uh, apply for Target, uh, apply for McDonald's, do something. I want to know and I want proof that you are applying for something. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go apply for I'll go apply I'll go I'll go out and apply for some go for some. You time. better. Yeah. I mean, even Walmart will hire anyone. Do Walmart. All right, I'll go for Walmart. But it and also you know I still don't understand how many what my maximum hours a week I can work for, and keep my social security because I know that makes I know I'm getting more a month than I could at any job like Walmart. Okay, well, you better apply for something, or else I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm, I'm definitely going to think on this. I mean, you, and it doesn't matter. I mean, if you don't go over certain hours, they'll do you part time, and then it won't hurt your tugboat. And you know what? Even if you made less, th could, couldn't just the pride of knowing you accomplished something be enough? That's the type of guy girls want. Not someone who goes, oh, I can get more just sitting around doing nothing. And you could get benefits. I mean, come on, is, isn't that isn't that worth it? Yeah, it is worth it. Take, uh, take, um, just take somebody, just took me, somebody like you to uh, make me realize uh, about the potential, about the, all that. And uh, that I sh that's what I should be doing. Well, I mean, there's tons of disabled people who work. I mean, you like Goodwill a lot. They help out people. And I'm sure they still get their quote-unquote tugboats. And they're productive. Uh, yeah, I'll go out. I'll go, I'll go fill out some applications tomorrow. And, uh, like Walmart or Target and see if they'll, see if they'll hire me. You know, even though, even to work like a maximum of like 10 hours a week, that's, I mean, I don't know if it's like ten or fifteen dollars maximum for, you know, not be. Yeah. Anyway, I'll try for ten dollars at first. Okay. All right. But I mean, if you if you can get up to twenty hours without it hurting your tugboat, I want you to do the full twenty. I want you to really go gung ho on this. If I can get if I can get the full twenty, I can go. I'll do that. But I'll I'll start small with ten. No, you need to ask for at least twenty. That's still part time. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you know, when I apply for the people, I'll ask. I'll ask. I'll try to go shoot for try like ten. This is a no. You you might. put you put ten to twenty. Then at least put ten to twenty. But I want you to do twenty. You can't even just do that for me. That's like nothing. That's I'll, like I'll, even I'll if you work it. four I'll days a week, that's it. five I'll put, hours. I'll put I'll put in ten to twenty hours. And I still I still got to talk to my social security people about. Uh, this as well. I'm pretty sure you can get anywhere, you know, up to 20 hours. You can probably get that online. All right, I'll, I'll look into it online, and I'll uh, on the application I'll put 10 to 20 hours. On you better dress nice too. Are you going to dress nice for this? Yeah. I'll, I mean, just I'll dress, in case. I'll, yeah, I'll dress nice for the interview. Yeah. Don't don't do wear that. your medallion. I know it's a part of you, down. but but that's not going to be allowed. Like I can't even wear necklaces, and I'm a girl. Hmm. That's like exactly. that's like having piercings going to interview. It's stupid. Yeah. And don't don't draw on the applications. I will not draw on the applications. Anyway, well, remember yeah, how I said feet. let's talk about more adult topics, and I just mean mature topics. Do you have any of those? Uh. Well, kind of. We could talk about college. We could talk about my college days. You know, okay. Just, uh, Go I, ahead. I mean, I, read, I, I mean, like I reminisced a bit about uh, no between high school days and eventually leading on to college days. Down, I run down here. Yeah. Oh, another thing. I yeah, I feel like I should mention. Uh, you remember? I think I'm telling you a little bit about my high school crush, Kelly Kelly Andes. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, after we graduated, I was in touch with her for like about a year and a half after that. And then it's like, uh, I don't know, I missed calling her one weekend, and it's like I saw a lot, and then it's like I lost the habit. I did like a, I did like a couple of months, a couple of months uh, earlier, recent, a couple of months ago recently, I found that she had been, excuse me, she, she had been married, and she has like uh, one or two children. So oh. that's good for her then, anyway. But it's like, you know, uh, you know, after I stopped the uh, habit, my mom and my mom told me, like, you know, oh, yeah, I could tell from, like, you know, just 
from looking at her back back in at the prom. It, uh, yeah, she was obviously already taken by this by some guy, and it's like I was like, oh my god, I was in shock for a while. I think I was like for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, or yeah, somewhere between there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but anyway, I lost touch with her. Uh, that was like a downfall. Uh, I've made a few friends and acquaintances in the Piedmont, but they kind of like came and gone. And it's like, you know, mostly gone, because since, you know, after, especially gone since after February 24th, 2003, which was, that was the uh, 21st birthday, I got kicked out of the English classroom. So it's like, you know, I couldn't make, I, wasn't able, I uh, just didn't feel like, I just didn't, I just became shy and didn't make as many friends as I was able to beforehand. And then the and then the uh, sweet hard search and Mary Walsh uh, going on and all that, and then I got banned for the year. The anger management the, uh, to get the anger management in the uh, psychiatrist class. I think I told you about that. Uh, but yeah, um, it also I t- also I told Kim about the part, but uh, you know during my like my last sem- my, my last uh, couple of semesters before I got my diploma. Um, Instead of my teacher being this uh, being this uh, nice uh, woman teacher I knew, uh, uh-huh. uh, it was this uh, one black guy. This one black guy this mini room. It was just like, uh, you know, upon first meeting him, I, was, I had bad vibes about him. And, and yeah, I was right I, I was right with that because, you know, he, just not, he, he and I just never saw eye to eye. And he got to more arguments almost as much as my father. Okay, so you thought this guy was like your father? Uh, no, 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 no. I did not consider him like my father. I'm just saying that, like, you know, he picked about as many arguments and pushed a, pushed a number of buttons about as much as my father did. And it just, it just, it just really well, made me angry. What type of arguments were they about? Like, what were they like? Like, a teacher shouldn't do that. Yeah, it's like, you know, he was contradicting my work, and this is also in the uh, you, last You sure semester. he wasn't giving you constructive criticism? He he yeah. is a teacher. Yeah, it wasn't really constructive criticism. It was just mostly put-downs and whatnot. Okay, well, what did he, he say? He said, like, uh, no, this is not right. Do it over. Blah, 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 blah. That's not putting you down. Also- that's teaching. Uh, but still, his tone of voice was really, it was like, it was full of anger. And, and I just did not, I just did not like Well, how many times did he have to tell you that? I mean, I'd be angry too if someone kept making a, the same mistake. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one to repeat mistakes. And I was like doing this really big project in my final semester, the big plans on my, the big computer aid in this dying plan. For my quick bill shopping center, all two stories, all the stores, and the mayor's office. Well, I think he was just trying to help you. I mean, he's teaching. He wants you to pass. He doesn't want you to fail. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I did finish it. I ended up getting a passing grade, but still, you know, I did not like his tone of voice, the way he carried on as such. But did you tell him that? Did you tell him that you appreciated his criticisms, but maybe he should uh, watch his tone? Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I think I might have thanked him for, uh, for, uh, you know, being a teacher and that, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't think I, ta- I don't think I talked to him about his tone of voice. Uh, well, maybe like- that's just the way he talks. I mean, did he talk like that to the other students? Uh, no, with the other students, he talked more calmly. He talked more calmly than the other students. I've actually observed. Well, what did he you get in the calmly. class? I ended up getting like, uh, you know, a passing grade, like an eight or like an A or a B. Well, an A and a B is a, a really big difference, and you know, passing. I mean, the only thing that isn't passing is one failing grade. So that's, well, mm. at least you passed the course. Yeah, I passed the course, got my degree. But anyway, when I got my diploma during the graduation ceremony, I mean, like. Only too glad to leave that team up because because you know I had no new friends I had no new friends that I would be leaving behind and I had to be on Mary Walsh 
And I thought that it one. wasn't her. I thought you apologized about that and stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, this uh, yeah. I mean, was, uh, this is like only a couple of months ago. I mean, like a few months to two months ago. Well, then Recently you should probably like stop that. referring to her as that, and you know, let it go, let the past go. Anyway, the point was, I was only too glad to get to graduate from Piedmont. It was, I mean, I just pers- I just personally, it felt more like a hellhole than a heaven. It it's like school. Hell. What do you expect? Hmm. Yeah, but it, I think the big difference, though, is like, you know, Manchester High School. I definitely had more positive memories from there. Like, you know, and I did have all my friends. And it's like, you know, when I graduated, I was just sad to leave all my friends and all, and all, and all, the, and all that. Plus, like, you know, I didn't uh, get an award for my creativity. Even though I was very creative and I was, like, I was highly commended. Uh, I was highly commended upon that at, 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 the, at that moment. But yeah, I, I not told you this I, before. I did, not, I, did not, I did not get an award at the end. The Dirty Awards ceremony right before graduation. And that's just, yeah. Between well, the remember, awards, like I said, you know, high school stuff really doesn't matter. Not in the real world. Uh, Maybe not, but it makes you feel better about yourself to touch yourself up to, to how you feel. Why would you need that to feel good about yourself? You should feel good about yourself, period, at the end. You don't need an award. That's stupid. That's putting uh, faith in material things when you should be putting faith in yourself. I mean, I did, I mean, I I mean did you did graduate. Faith. You got the best award of all. Yeah, I did. I did have faith in myself. It's just like, you know, I felt like, you know, they did not see me as worthy of getting an award at that time. It's just like, you know... You shouldn't like think of it like that. that. Maybe just, it's you like, know, other people deserve like it. Yeah, it's like as if you they're can't get everything. Like they had no faith in me. That doesn't mean anything. If you said you were commended, then you were commended. Just because you don't get an award doesn't mean that you're not awesome. I mean, that's childish. That really is. You shouldn't need an award, and you shouldn't feel that they should have to give it to you. Maybe uh, somebody yeah, else really deserved it. I mean, and you weren't the only one who didn't get an award. Well, I know. Yeah, I was not the only one who didn't get an award. Actually, that's not really true because I got, like, a star for my grades, my honor roll grades, a star pin. But yet, you know, that's just, that's just like, you know was small in comparison to these big awards. And I just felt like, you know, oh, I'm looking for... I don't think it's a big award. I mean, did they get money or something? If they didn't, it's not a big deal. They get a piece of paper. Oh, wow, it's a piece of paper that they probably don't even have anymore. It's probably lost. I I would not have lost my piece of paper if I had gotten it. I I really don't think it's as important as you say it is, and you shouldn't put that much stock in it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't put I don't put as much into it back then as I, and I don't put as much nowadays into that. Well, I'm just you shouldn't hold a like, grudge you know, against okay. that. I mean, you're 27. You should get over it. High school is over. It, it's I mean, been I, over. Yeah, I mean, I, you I, have one about, year to your ten year re- reunion. I mean, it's it's done, done deal. Uh, so I didn't understand the beginning of that sentence. She said something about the reunion. Yeah, I mean that's just showing how much time has passed. Hmm. So you yeah. should totally be over it. You don't you don't want to go there and then you know talk about this and so people go, oh my gosh, this has been over. What are you talking about? You want to be adult. Yeah. I think as I like, still, if I had an award, I would have felt def- I would definitely have felt more, I could feel a lot better and much easier to like you know leaving high school behind, because you know it was definitely more about leaving me leaving my friends behind. Well, I mean, just because you get out of high school doesn't mean you shouldn't keep in touch with your friends. Just leaving high school, it, it should be a good thing. You're going to bigger, better things. Like, okay, what was the uh, favorite movie of yours that you watched when you? were younger um uh, it's younger. it's still labyrinth i mean labyrinth is a pretty old movie oh but yeah oh by the way i watched i, I read it and watched it last night it's a good movie you watched it oh cool yeah 
all the complex and um, all the complexities and uh, the maze, like you know, yeah, things not always look. You know, I like the part of the beginning of the uh, maze, like you know, oh yeah, you think it's a wall, but it's actually like you know, it's actually a space between the vines that just makes it just like a visual illusion right there. So, so what do you think about Jared? Jared was my favorite. Oh yeah, David Bowie played him. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh, I know. Him. He could have stolen me any day. He could have stolen you any day when he had the little baby? <gasps> well, no, obviously not. But, I mean, I mean, he was, oh, he was, oh, that fucking bulge. Ooh. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah you, would, you would be impressed by that. But that's a guy, I'm not totally impressed with that. Why not? It's David Bowie. Everybody loves David Bowie. Yeah, but well, I'm. Yeah, but it's like you know. Uh, I don't want to go into that. It's just like you know, just yeah. I'm straight. But still, it's not like you can't appreciate. Well, I mean, it's like you know, I appreciate. Him. I appreciate the way he's saying it. Yeah, it was, he sounded pretty good. But yeah, I mean, but then you go referencing, referencing his bulge. Well, I mean, the thing is, you can't, I mean, just because you can say another man's attractive or hot doesn't mean you're gay. Like, I can easily say another girl is hot or attractive and, you know, appreciate her for her womanly things. And it doesn't mean that I want to have a relationship with her. Uh, Yeah, but uh, from my point of view, though, uh, don't worry. I have not really given given it all that much thought and... Uh, I don't, at this point, I just don't feel like I could care to, so I changed my mind otherwise. Oh, uh, okay. Look, you know what you should read? You should read Catch-22. I've heard that. I've heard Catch-22. It's a great, so the, great book. Heard the, yeah, oh, you know, that reminds me of the joke I heard Pamela, from the show Pamela Anderson started in called Stack. And it's like, uh, oh, shoot, I'd have that joke go. Um, well, um, uh, it was a Cash 22 pun right there, but I had to watch that episode again to, uh, find do, to figure do out. Do you even know what a Cash 22 is? A Cash 22? Yeah, do, do you even know what that is? Um, I think it's like, I think it's like a sexual touch or something. No, that's an innuendo. Um, a catch twenty two is where you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh. Oh yeah, I see that now. Yeah, okay. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, I get it. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I mean, is there anything else on your mind? Like, I mean, the email you sent me really worried me. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, it's like one I'm still getting. I'm still getting used to, like you know. Yeah, but different person's perspective of why I'm often confused and blank. It's like you know, points during my turn when I'm trying to think of something. It's like you know, it's like I'm switched over to Cur- to Christopher, and uh, Chris. Y- and- you know, it doesn't happen like that, right? Multiple personalities never surface at the same time, and they usually don't know about each other. Like, you would have that blank feeling that that is it. That sounds like possession. That's not schizophrenia. That's not multiple personalities. Plus, you'd be Uh, born with it. You can't get it because of autism or from a name change. Okay, well, uh, describe to me, though, what the possession, what is that? Possession? Uh, Possession. Uh, of this kind of possession that we're talking about here. It, it's a possession. That, I mean, that's the only time I've ever heard of two different personalities being manifested in the same body at the same time. It means you're being controlled by an outside force. And they, You know, like sorry, demons. Last time? I don't know. But it's like, point is, it made me realize, like, you know, yeah... Me being Christian, I was I was definitely the worst and the global one. But they took and they took the uh, dynamic half that I've been that I've been talking to lately. Uh, to make Those are personality sense. traits. Those aren't personalities. Okay, well, I don't claim to know everything about multiple personalities or whatever. 
I mean, you just can't make a another personality come out like that. Like it's it's not possible. Like you couldn't do it right now. Oh uh, well, I don't know. We just have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> anyway, I mean, if you think you have that much control over it, you should be able to do it right now. Yeah, I pretty much just did. <laughs> I pretty much just did. I'm the dynamic one right here. Okay, so you're a completely different person. You don't know anything I've talked to you about before. You're completely different. I kind of went to some of the conversation when you were talking to Christian. Uh, yeah, but I don't know all the details. Other than the fact I got the star right next to me. Right. I mean, it still doesn't sound plausible at all. It really doesn't. I mean, that's like stuff you should go to a doctor for because that's definitely not healthy. Like, you know that could be the sign of a brain tumor, right? Really? Yeah, actually it is. Like, next you're going to be telling me that you feel like you're falling when you're standing. Falling on my standing? No, no, like people, when they stand, they could be standing or sitting, and they close their eyes, and they feel like they're falling. That's a huge sign of a brain tumor. But this is what it sounds like. Like, it's not, doesn't sound like multiple personalities. Like, maybe you should really go get that checked out. I mean, this is what I'm going into. I mean, this is what I study. That's, I'm really scared for you. Uh, hang on, I'm going to switch back. There's no yeah. switching back. What? Uh, uh, yeah, I heard a little bit. Uh, you said something about, yeah. Well, I, d I didn't think about this. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to schedule to see my yeah, psychiatrist, Dr. Price, about that. No, no, I you need to see, like, a type. doctor. Like, this. these are horrible, horrible symptoms. Well, I, anyway, yeah, psychiatrist, I... Got, I still got Dr. Price's number. He was a psychiatrist I went to during that year. I was kicked out of the uh, city. So. No, no, Chris, Chris, these are, these are real medical symptoms. Like, so if this is an excuse, you need to quit it. Because if not, you are probably extremely, extremely sick. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Like, this isn't yeah, cool to play around with. Ah, uh, but uh, yeah. To make it to make a point, though, he had. I mean, before last, even before last Sunday, come out a few subtle times, like you know, uh, you know, I play guitar hero. He comes out like you know, definitely plays guitar hero a little bit. And I who is he? Who 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 are you talking about? If if we're gonna play this way, fine. Who is he? I'm talking about Christopher. You just talked to him a moment ago. Okay. So it's there's a difference, right? And two of you. Difference right there is in the voice so. And you can control both of you at will, then. More or less, yeah. Okay, like like I said, that really sounds like um, symptoms of something wrong with your brain. But you know, what do I know? I'm only going into the medical field. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I'll definitely talk to my. You know, I'll get in touch with my psychiatrist and talk to him about it. Or, uh, a psychiatrist you know, isn't going to be able to help with that. Like, a real doctor would have to. Like, you told this to yeah. a real doctor, they're going to be like, oh my god, you need help now. So, like I said, this is just an excuse. You need to quit it. Because this can get you, like, in serious shit. Oh, yeah, that's a lot for me to think about. Uh, yeah, but I can schedule up on my, uh, my physician, Dr. McGovern, uh, Talk to him. Talk to him about that. See what. See, get his opinion. He's a medical doctor, over at my, over at the Walter Jefferson Medical Clinic nearby. Is he a uh, general practitioner? Yeah. He okay. Wants, you know, well, then yeah. he can refer you to a specialist. But I mean, when's the last time you saw him? Uh, I'm not sure. My last my appointment with him was. I, I usually see him about uh, every three or four months. Uh, so it's like. I'm, okay, I, well, know, when's the last time you saw this psychiatrist? Well, last time I saw a psychiatrist, I saw Dr. Price, was like uh, 
2006 or seven, something like that. But I thought you said in the video and in the email that the psychiatrist helped you bring out your other side. So why was there like a two-year delay? That doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, when I was saying, yeah, pretty much when I was saying that in the video, that was pretty much just some to uh, give the trolls the, the controls, uh, inquiry, like, you know, oh, you should go see his doctor or something like that. It was just, it was just fuel for the trolls. Um, well, you used it against me, too. I mean, I, that sounds like lying. I mean, did they give you any medicine? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, McGovern did prescribe for me. Actually, no, when McGovern, the original prescriber, it was like a doctor. This happened like, I don't know, 1990-something. I was prescribed Paso for stress, for stress problems, you know, keeping my stress down, whatever. But then, like, I upgraded, and then that, and then Paso went out, went out of date, and so I had to be switched to Paracetine. Uh, but basically, I was actually, basically, after, during the whole time, I took the, I took Paso and Paracetine. I never actually saw any emotional difference, or uh, I mean, like you know, I felt. I mean, I still felt stress and uh, all that and all that stuff. It's I and then yeah, I recently and then I recently stopped taking the Paracetine about a month ago. I mean, and then I felt and then I, and then I, I still felt no difference. Other than the fact, like you know, I'm definitely feeling more confident. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, there's also, like, yeah, one you, of the you do know, instances. You do know, though, that a psychiatrist is just the person who gives you drugs. They're not, like, a psychi psychologist, sorry. Well, I don't know the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychiatrist. I, I just balance. told you what it was. Psychiatrist yeah, uh, yes, gives you yes, medicine. Me, yeah, psychiatrist is what gives me medicine. Psychologist is, uh, okay, well, Psychologist, explain that to me, please. Psychiatrist, give no, you psychologist. I'm I'm doing both, Chris. The psychiatrist okay. gives you the medicines, and psychologists are the people who are like therapists that you talk to. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. This is okay, simple now stuff. I get it. Okay, we see. I did not know that. I did not know that. That's new to me. So I. Learn that, and I'm going to keep that in my head. Yeah, they have different degrees in different areas of study. Let's see. I mean, are you still on any medications at all? Mm, yeah, I'm taking Levator for my try to keep my cholesterol and maintain. But it's like you know, my cholesterol wasn't really that high. But you know, when I started Levator, I just felt I, I was like you know, I just felt like you know, that'd be a good step to keep it down. Uh, did your doctor recommend that? Yeah, McGovern recommended the uh, Lipitor. He, he's like, you know, it's an optional thing, but he's like, you know, if you want to, it's a good idea. So, yeah, so, I, so I've been taking Lipitor for, I don't know, a few years now. But you're you're 27. That That's not something you should worry about at 27. Cholesterol. But... No, you don't get it. Most 27-year-olds don't have to worry about it. That's for old people who can't help it. I don't know, yeah, but this is like a few years ago when I was fretting over bad cholesterol and trying to uh, maintain it uh, along with exercise. Yeah, I don't remember that, con I don't remember that conversation very well. Uh, maybe you should just start eating healthier. I mean, I don't really know what you eat, but obviously if you're on Lipitor when you're 27, I mean, what what do you eat? Yeah, most I eat like, most I eat like chicken sandwiches. Or, or from I where? Like chicken sandwiches you make? Or from where? Uh, you know, like from grilled chicken sandwiches, like from McDonald's or IHOP. You know that just because it's grilled doesn't mean that it's good for you. Well, it's better right? than crispy. It, it doesn't matter. It's still bad for you. I mean, that's like saying... I don't even know. That's like saying that um, eating a gallon of ice cream is 
better than eating a whole cake because the ice cream has dairy. I never heard that before. Uh, that's because I just made it up. You just made it up. <laughs> okay, you just made it up. Yep. I mean, but this isn't funny. You you could... Th- that shows a serious problem. You could be, uh... You could die from this. Uh, well, if, if you suggest it, then I could... Then I could stop the, taking the Lipitor and, uh... Then no, no, no! I mean, if you're on it, you're on it for a reason. You need to stop eating all that fast food. I mean, how much... Okay, you've got to eat something other than chicken sandwiches. What else do you eat? Oh, I, 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 eat, I eat salads. Okay, salad doesn't always mean healthy. I mean, what do you put on the salad? Do you put tons of dressing on it? Is there meat on it? Is there, uh, where no, do you get no, the salads from? No it's, ba- no, it's bas- no, it's basically like, you know, lettuce, tomato, carrots, some cheese. You see, uh, that's where they get you. They put cheese on salads. I mean, where do you get these salads from? Yeah, they're like side salads from Wendy's or McDonald's. Those those aren't healthy, Chris. Just because it says salad the no, it's got real ve- those are real vegetables. It, but just because okay, but do you put any dressing on it? I do not put dressing on the salad. I mean that's that's good and all, but still, I mean there's going to come a point where even this medicine's not going to be able to help you. You know that, right? Mm, yeah, you're talking about the Lipitor, right? Or that's not going to be good for me? No, I mean, th- th- there gets to a point where even modern medicine cannot help you because you've destroyed your body so much. Oh, so much more stuff for me to talk to my doctor about. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't talk to you about this already. I mean, don't I you think, read the I nutritional think, facts? Think, they have to be on fast food now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I okay, good. Do you, do you eat anything that does not come from a fast food restaurant? Yeah, I some yeah sometimes have uh, food from the grocery store. Like like, like uh, what? Know. What do you have? Like, do you eat lean meats? Do you have fresh vegetables? Yeah. Or is it just stuff sometimes. like like Hungry sometimes Man dinners I, and pizza? Once or twice in like uh, in like a uh, month, I have like a Hungry Man. You know those things are and awful for you, right? You know that they have like one hundred percent, like they have like a thousand percent sodium and tons of calories. Yeah, but mostly I, I eat like healthy. Cho- I mostly I would eat healthy. If a of a frozen dairy rice, I would eat healthy choice. It, even then, those are bad for you because of all the preservatives. I mean, they they have to have them because it's not fresh. I mean, okay, that is that all you eat? I mean, how many of those do you eat a week? Because you should you should only be eating them like once a month at the most. Even then, that can hurt you. <sighs> Chris, I'm sorry. I mean, this this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to help people with this. That's why I'm trying to get fit myself. Just y- y- wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to remember my. I'm trying to remember the. Uh eating schedule from the past, like, month or from the past, like, month. Okay, okay, well, can you cook things? Yeah, I can cook. Like what? Like, okay, name the things that you can cook that you, but only if you cook them for yourself and ate them within the last month. Last month. I can can cook the, uh, I can cook vegetables in the, uh, Like what? Pot like green beans, corn. What, what do you cook them in? I put, I put them in. I put them in like a pot, like a pot of some water, and uh, cook. I cook them in the on a on a top of the oven. Okay, but are they fresh vegetables or are they canned? Yeah, they're canned. Okay, that has tons of sodium too, Chris. It's all the hidden stuff. I mean, you need to get some fresh produce. I need to take you to like a farmer's market or something. I mean, this this sounds like eating habits that means, you know, this is why people don't live past 30 or 40. You know that, right? I mean, do you at least 
do exercise, um, you know, to balance it. I mean, like, I know you said we were going to go jogging, but um, how often yeah, do I you do exercise it. and what do you do? Do you do cardio? I do exercise. I walk, I walk about a half hour to an hour a day around the neighborhood. Or, well, or you know, you need to get your cardio up. You need to break into a jog or something. Uh, that's pretty strenuous. I, I, I mean... No, it's I, not strenuous. I, your body should be used to this. You you just need to get your heart rate up to a certain beat per minute. I mean, uh, just power walking would work. I, how are you going to go jogging with me if it's so strenuous? Well, maybe I'm attaching when I say it's strenuous. Mm. But yeah, most of yeah. It's, I I mean, I'm just saying. Mostly, I mostly I do walk, and sometimes I do speed up a little bit. When see, I, th this is the I stuff that I. This is why I want to become a nurse because I see people doing stuff like this, and I want to help them because this stuff it it hurts me on the inside. Mm. I'm sorry. I can't stand to see someone hurt their body so much.